We're adding a little tiger's blood to this Texas A&M Aggies helmet, and then we're gonna give it away. Stay tuned. Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining today. We're doing another giveaway helmet. We're taking this Texas A&M Aggies Riddell Speed Flex Authentic Helmet. These things are awesome. You know how much we love them. And we are going to take it to another level. Steve, what do you think? This is another one with a pretty sick paint job. It almost feels velvety. Yeah. it's. It's luxurious. It's really nice. Yeah, right? it's really nice. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And again, I don't know what I would call this paint job. Um, it's not really flat or matte. We got another winner to announce. Who, so who it, is it this week, Steve? It's, it's that time. This is for the Auburn helmet. Auburn helmet. Let's get this guy. Yeah. Let me come up. Let me jump off the camera a little bit. All right. All right. Let's and the winner up. is Michael H. from New York. New York. Where in New York? I have no idea. What do you mean you have no idea? Steve? I mean, it, I didn't look that hard into it. Yeah, okay. we we use a, a Glean contest. It's a randomizer. We don't actually pick the winner, so you can save the begging and pleading. Um, but yeah, Michael Michael H was chosen, and this helmet will go out to you just as soon as we get your confirmation reply. So keep an eye on your emails, everybody. Yes, Mike, congratulations. That's an awesome helmet. Let's see if we can make this Texas A and M helmet as awesome. For the fans that have never watched our channel before, welcome. Thanks for finding us. The idea of these giveaway series is to do something a little bit different than the teams haven't done before. So with this one, we're doing a silver face mask, a colored shock visor, a couple of other things that Jay will get into, but we are giving these away. And I believe this is like week 12 now. So this is a big investment. And all we ask is help us grow the channel. We're getting it done. We're over 120,000 yeah. subs. So let, let's get to 200,000. And again, for, the, for you that are new out there, uh, what we do is we run Green Grid Iron is our website where we sell helmets and accessories for helmets, everything from the neck up. And we do these videos to show you exactly how easy it is to take your helmets to the next level. So in this particular helmet, we're gonna be adding a Shock 1.0 visor. This video is sponsored by Shock and he's donated this visor for this particular helmet. We've got a Zooty face mask. This is the Shield EG808, which is a great style. These are only for the Riddell Speedflex helmets. The visor is gonna look really nice in there. Then we got a Riddell hard cup chin strap. This is gonna be pretty Kind of close to matching, Steve. Pretty kind of close. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, not, it's not identical, but it's getting close there. Enough. Hasn't been, the only way to match this is to actually paint. Right. Um, but this is a stock. We've got these in what, like 15 different colors? Exactly, yeah. Three different sizes. So yeah. if you're looking for you know a little color coordination, uh, those hard cup Riddell chin straps are the way to go. And then we're gonna add some 3D bumpers on here. For this particular helmet, we're gonna be going with some green grid iron branded 3D bumpers that are really gonna kinda, I think, bring together the silver and the face mask that we're putting on here. Yeah, and this is another one. That that face mask, the visor, the chin strap, the helmet all in, this is easily a thousand dollar helmet. So this is no joke. So be sure you enter and there you go. Let's get into how one enters to win. What do you think, Jay? How does one enter? <laughs> So go to greengridiron.com. You'll see a big banner. Click on that banner and then it takes you to multiple ways to enter. You can do all of them if you want to. And you have to be a subscriber to this channel. And that is it. The winner has 30 days to claim. It's free shipping. It's the free helmet. This is the real deal. And uh, that's about it, man. Pretty easy. These Zooty masks, for those of you who don't know, it is a manufactured face mask here in the USA. And it's the only mask that I know of in the world with no welds. This is an investment cast. So it's actually liquid metal poured into a cast, which then cools. And then that's pretty interesting. So said to be stronger, but if nothing else, it just looks sleeker because there's no 
overlapping bars are well. First time I saw one of these, I'm like, you know, that's got a very Italian sports car esque yep. look yep. and feel to it compared to uh, regular welded masks. So that's pretty cool. And then, yep. I mean, as far as a you know a, something for display or a collectible, this is going to look really nice. So we do see if the visor first, or get the back taken care of. Mm, let's get the back taken care of. Because usually. I'll do the back, all the stuff on the back first before I put the face mask on, which just makes everything a lot easier. Yeah. So I guess on this one, I'm creating all kinds of problems. Let's see, I can't hold this and that at yeah. the same time. Yeah, what are you thinking today? Let's see here. I got big hands, I can do this. Yeah. Well, I'll put all of the parts used in this video in the video description as usual. So if there's any of this stuff that you want for your helmet, you just click right on a link, it takes you right to it. All right, so we got here, Steve, some of the white unbranded Under Armour clips and a Tiger's Blood Shock 1.0 visor, which you could put this in a green helmet and it's gonna look badass. Yeah, oh yeah. This is one of my favorite colors. I chose this for the obvious reason. It kind of all brought the colors in together, but you're right, you can do any color. Well, now I'm trying to put this in without getting my grubby little fingerprints all over it. That's why it looks like it's giving me a hard time. Because it actually does go in pretty good. I'm gonna slide this over. The hardest part really is just getting them all lined up. What kind of pieces do you want to upgrade onto your helmet if you've already got one at home? Let's see how this guy looks here, Steve. That's a champ right there. Yes, sir, that is sick. There we go, oh yeah. I have no idea what it looks like on my head, but I have a feeling it's badass as usual. This helmet I think turned out pretty good as usual, so Go below, follow the instructions that Steve talked about earlier in the video on how you can enter to win this helmet. We can't wait to give all of these helmets away and get feedback from everybody about what you think. You know, is this something that you would love to see on the field someday, or is this kind of just better staying on the shelf? <laughs> yeah, so listen, thank you again. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.